Like many firms across northern Italy, MTA is a family business. Established in 1954 by Antonio Falchetti, he was later joined by his son Umberto. Today, it's a global company, supplying parts to dozens of car makers, from BMW to General Motors to Volvo. Like everyone else, the first they heard about coronavirus was when it hit China. We were worried about the situation, uh, health situation first, and uh, secondly, we thought to one of our subsidiary, which is in uh, China, in Shanghai. Umberto's daughter, Maria Vittoria, is the third generation of Falchetti's to run the company. Their Shanghai plant was closed for three weeks. She and her father weathered that storm, little suspecting there was worse to come. When coronavirus arrived here in Codogno, where headquarters of MTA are, we have been obliged to shut down our production. It was the 21st of February. In the beginning, our first concern was work. Obviously, with great respect of the difficult situation. This is why we wanted to demonstrate that we were able to restart our work, respecting some rules which we learned from our plant in Shanghai. They lobbied the Italian government and a week later, on the 28th of February, they were allowed to resume limited production with staff from inside the epicenter of the Italian outbreak. We asked to some people of the red zone to come back to work. Uh, the people from the production departments only and from logistics, all coming from the red area, obviously. That same day, Maria's father, Umberto, began to feel unwell. He had fever and uh, in the evening and the night the fever was very, very high. But uh, together with the doctor, we decided not to uh, send him to the hospital because the risk in these days is to stay in the emergency room for two or more days. By Wednesday the following week, his condition had worsened. My father said that he had uh, problems to breathe. So we called it immediately our doctor and he said that his lungs were at 70% or 60 only. And so it was necessary to uh, call an ambulance. Umberto Falchetti was admitted to hospital in the nearby town of Cremona. That was the last time Maria saw her father. We never thought about the virus. You don't think to it when it comes to your home. We feel with a big pain in our hearts because he left, stayed two days in a hospital and then died. And also, it is strange in some sort of a way because we didn't see him die. So, sometimes it is like if he left for a vacation, but it is not.